Hey besties. Okay, let me pause this podcast. So I have made it to Overland very obviously. I am currently in my dorm. So today is, let's see, it's Sunday, May 23rd. And I always do this knowing I can't see my phone. Um, you see the phone, you can't see my screen, but it's 9.15 in the morning, Sunday, May 23rd, like I just said. I have class tomorrow, which is wild. But yeah, so the last video that y'all saw, I was packing, preparing for Oberlin. I went on a two day little trip with my family, which was fun. Um, and then I ended the vlog out there. And so that's all y'all saw. So I didn't very obviously do a move-in series this time, just because typically during a pre-COVID world, 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 you would technically only have like one move in and then one move out day during a single academic year. But of course, because of my school's three semester calendar, a lot of moving in and out for a lot of folks, myself included. So I was gonna bore y'all with another move in series. I wanna show y'all a little tour, but like not much has changed. I still like have all the same decorations. And honestly, I haven't even decorated my room that much. There's a good chance that I'll like buy some room decor and like some other cute little items like a tapestry. We'll see, but also it's not that big of a deal to me. Like, yes, your room and your space is your safe haven. But I guess for me, I feel good that I decorated my room back at home. And that, that's really all that matters to me, if we're being honest. But who's to say, I may see something really, really cheap to throw on the wall. So that's kind of that whole situation. But yeah, I want to start a new vlog for this week. I'm not sure how many days I'll be vlogging. I know in the fall, I did a week in my life. Those were fun. But given that I've gotten a little better at talking more also i'm sitting right by my window with my with the window open so it's funny walks past love they don't look at me what was i saying i remember what i was saying now so i was saying that i'm not sure how many days of my life i'm going to record like i said today's sunday so i'm going to record today because y'all know i do like some prep stuff before the semester begins i'm not sure how much i'll do but like i always try and do a semesterly reflection some goal setting some re um laundry um just stuff like that preparing myself mentally these few days have been so much fun actually um this semester is already going significantly more better than the fall um i can definitely say given that everybody's on the same side of campus this semester much more accessible like <clears throat> i lived on the north side of campus last semester a house which is like where the black not all but a handful of the black folks live is on the south side of campus and then I had other friends kind of just spread out throughout campus like some folks were midway through north side south side a lot and then you already know what the classes I was taking I don't gotta go through all that again unless I could just say like already I am feeling so much better this semester I'm already branching out more being more open and friendly to talking to people um and yeah like we went skating yesterday with a bunch of people uh we've like wendy's mcdonald's y'all know how we do just randomly jumping up and going to get some food stuff like that just chilling out in the lounge doing a puzzle i'm going to show y'all the puzzle that we're doing it's a 2000 piece puzzle but yeah, i'm having a lot of fun we all have this perspective that we're at summer camp just on a college campus um so pray for us in our grades but it's still gonna be a hot girl and hot boy summer regardless um i'm saying this now and then watch me spend all my time at the library studying so yeah girl whatever you say show y'all the room real quick <clears throat> there's a few things that's slightly out of place and i am um, getting ready to kind of like start my day so this is basically like my miscellaneous closet we don't really need to see that for real for real oh also i'm sorry that it's dark <clears throat> overland the city is having a citywide power outage so we got no lights for now oh shit so then i should record this later let's see how it looks uh it's not terrible you just won't be able to see the closet as well but basically you can see it all right it's literally just clothes um so i have dresses or jumpers my jeans jogging pants and pants that's kind of the order that i have going on I have my welcome back second year little um, whiteboard here and then you already know I have a double but it's just me living here so that's nice I got all this extra space this is the desk that I chose so behind here I have um, a coat rack that I put all my bags on my masks on and then I also have my um, uh, this what is it called um, basically my board where I put my daily affirmations there which is something I got to do today I literally have the push pins right there but yeah this is my desk y'all know the infamous yellow lamp 
<clears throat> food from two days ago I need to throw out. That's disgusting. It's all right. Then, of course, I have like a thing here with different pictures that I need to update badly. Like a lot of these photos are from my first year of college and even some are from high school. So it's like, come on, love. You got to grow up one day. Um, then I got some shoes here and I got my nieces and my nephew there. And then I just kind of just be getting ready over here for being honest. And then we got the mini fridge. So this bag is full of snacks that the college provided for me. But like these snacks a little too healthy for me, love. Um like oh that's not that bad. But like I don't eat I'm going to leave that somewhere and it says free snacks on it so folks can take what they want. I don't eat any of that. Sorry, but thank you anyway. Then I have my fridge here. I got that fan and this fan and that reminds me, I need to get like a cooling system from the college because child gets hot here. Let me move this back right there. Okay, and then we have this dresser where, where I have um, basically all of my undergarments. And then in here, I have all of my bottoms. So we got some skirts, some short, um, non-jean shorts, jean shorts, and then spandex over there. Then I have like my um, knee workout material, whatever, that, not whatever, but that stuff. And then down here I have all my tops. So I have t-shirts and then basically tanks and tube tops. That is basically what I wear. And then of course we have my bed over here with my, um, bedding set that I absolutely love still. I just love the color scheme and the design. It's so, so nice. So, oh, one more thing. Then I have this over the door organizer, but the, um, y'all saw, y'all saw back in the fall, these, um, I don't even know what they're called, but like the hooks, they just don't fit on the doors because the doors are just too wide. So I have this here over um, the foot of my bed and I have a lot of different miscellaneous items that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, but it keeps it, it's very accessible and nice and it looks neat in my opinion. I hope y'all enjoyed that little dorm tour. I am very comfortable with the space that I'm in, which is nice. Um, so yeah, it's like I said, it, it's nine-ish and I have a few things to do today. So one for my job on campus we have day two of our orientation today that i'll be helping facilitate so i have that from like 12 30 to 3 ish so a few hours until that starts i'll do a little bit of prep work practice my presentation which is honestly pretty chill it's not it's pretty self-explanatory but i'm going to do a little bit of practicing to prepare and then i'm going to get lunch with um my mentor slash friend uh she's on campus and then let's see what else do i have to do today i want to do like laundry um, i'm gonna try and do kind of the prepping for the semester this morning but i also haven't gotten breakfast yet so we're gonna get breakfast first and then maybe just stay outside i don't know we'll see i always do this explaining stuff let's just get into the video First of all, why is my bike on the ground? I think that's so rude. Okay. I think that's so rude. Like if, if in the process of grabbing your bike, you knock somebody else's bike over, can you pick it up please? That's so rude. I don't even know where breakfast is being served. Oh, see. Oh. I take a cinnamon roll, please. Oh, hey, thanks, thanks for the storage. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Any fruit? Uh, I'll do an orange. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, friends. Uh, let me pause my music. Sit down. It feels good out here. I'm just afraid that ants are going to crawl on me if I sit on the ground without a blanket. So we'll see how long this lasts. Oh, yeah, but because of the power outage, they're serving brunch-ish outside and it looks good. I just hope nobody comes near me because I'm talking to myself. Okay, here's breakfast. See, it looks appetizing.
Okay, so I'm done with breakfast. That was actually pretty good. Um, I'm currently outside the Science Center sitting at a table about to prepare for this orientation. And then if I have time, which I'm sure I will, I'll probably just like start with organizing things, like organizing things. I need to organize my finances a little bit. I wanna do some reflecting, stuff like that. So that's what I'm preparing for now. Okay y'all, so I just wanted to quickly check in really fast. So I just got done reflecting for the semester and I feel really, really good. Yeah, I basically, what I try and do every semester is I'll do like a pre-semester journaling activity to like, you know, to take some time to reflect on how far I've come in my college career and just like throughout my life in general think about the present and then think about the future and the semester and what I would like to manifest but I also try and keep in mind that I don't want to have too many expectations because our expectations will never be met 100% and so having expectations can be extremely dangerous um, but and I do really have high expectations and expectations and hopes for this semester but I'm really trying to be careful about that because yeah nothing is ever as you want it to be really or at least not for as long as you would like all good things do come to an end but nonetheless I just talked about some of my academic goals in terms of grades and in terms of the stuff that I want to take with like study groups and finding ways to work harder and not smarter like I want to see if anybody would be interested in kind of splitting up flashcards with one another and then we can just all share the same quizlet but instead of one person creating the quizlet two or three of us could create it and then we could study it from there and that would take significantly less time which would be hella nice so just like little things like that I also talked about like things for my bucket list I want to try every restaurant in Oberlin I want to study at the coffee shop more I want to go swimming indoor indoors um, like little stuff like that and then also I talk about prioritizing having fun which is really important and it can be hard to do in college especially when things get busy with classes and work and extracurriculars and other obligations that we all have and we just it just seems to get even busier as you become like an upper class person you have more responsibilities classes become so specialized and much more difficult um so it's just a lot it, it, it's a lot um and i don't think the, any of those things make college worthwhile for being honest the classes the work some of the work in extracurriculars definitely uh, a lot of people are doing things that they really enjoy whether it's a hobby or an advocacy work or just some random thing that they want to do so that can definitely be worthwhile but even then like once you get a leadership position in some of those organizations it could still just be a lot and it's not always fun and it can get stressful and sometimes you just want to just hang out with friends because the social aspect of college in my opinion is what mostly makes it worthwhile and so I really want to be able to prioritize that more even if I'm just with one person studying at least for a few hours each day like that's enough for me and you know we'll get dinner and then we'll get back to studying stuff like that I just have to just be more proactive and reaching out to people I think sometimes we all just we're waiting for everybody else to reach out to us and if we all have this idea it's, it's not gonna happen um, or at least not for me so I just I'm gonna definitely do more reaching out to people and going in spaces where I know there's going to be people that I know and just inviting myself in because they wouldn't mind so just little things like that and now I'm just about to review my finances I need to pay my credit card bill too so I'm gonna do that um, and then I'm trying to think it's almost 11 I don't have to be at work until 12 so I might just chill out here and watch some Netflix or something we'll see Okay, so I am back in my dorm. Also, I realized, wait, never mind. My fans weren't running earlier, obviously, because of the power outage citywide thing. Um, so hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm talking louder because of the fans, because they're quite noisy. But it is now 514. Obviously, it's the same day. I have on the same clothes. Um, I kind of forgot about y'all. But then also, I was busy with work, and then I got lunch with a friend, and so it's just like, no vlogging but i am actually about to put some clothes in the wash so i can just have some fresh clothes for a new week i went through my syllabus for one class i'm still waiting on the other syllabi to upload the blackboard but they haven't done that yet 
Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we are. So uh, let's go down to the basement to wash some clothes. but I just got to do it. Um, today's the first day of classes. I woke up and I was so nervous and anxious. I mean, first of all, it's a, it's a new semester, so duh. And then secondly, it's just like going back to in-person classes. I'm super excited to be doing that. I do not ever want to engage with Zoom anymore, but I know Zoom has not left our my life quite yet. Um, but still, like I would rather do in-person than Zoom, but it's still just an anxious sort of thought and feeling. But other than that, like I got up, started moving around, I did a meditation, I did my journal. I want to try and do those at least five times a week, but I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. So if I could do it at least three times, three to five times is the goal. But we'll see. Honestly, it takes max 15 minutes to do both. So if that means waking up 15 minutes earlier to really do two things that sets me up to have a really great day, I'm gonna do it. I wanted to quickly say because I don't want to talk too much. I know I can do that sometimes because it's already 8:20, have class at nine. Um, I'm riding my bike. I was gonna say, first of all, I finished a binging, binge listening to Jamila Sufrat's podcast onto another financial podcast, and it's called The Clever Girl Knows Podcast by Bola. I'm I'm blanking on her last name, but I would recommend that Clever Girl, Clever Girl, The Clever Girls Knows uh, Podcast. So that's what I'm listening to. Um, I'm currently just obviously getting ready i'm actually about to iron my shirt so let me plug in the iron for that look at me ironing my shirt um don't get used to it but no nah, that shirt's actually stupid wrinkle i just wanted to chat with y'all her usual y'all know the drill I don't know what I want to talk about. Oh, I guess I could acknowledge that I forgot to vlog the rest of my day yesterday. I mentioned it to my friend and she, she was all like, you're gonna be like, hey guys, so um, I got to vlog yesterday, but I went to go get food, I went to Walmart, and that's basically what I did. So after y'all saw me, I think I got lunch with a friend, I had two Zoom meetings, and then I went with, I went with my friends to Wingstop, that was good, that was good. I had the, I forget what it's called, but it's like sweet Korean, sauce something like that sweet korean barbecue girl it was amazing it was good so if y'all got a wing stop in your area i'd highly recommend i think that it's funny i'm usually a boneless type of girl but i have this thing where if the boneless wings on the inside look kind of weird or like i don't know how to explain it i always say gooey but i'm not sure what it's called maybe it's like the fatty part of um the boneless wing. i don't know i just hate it it kind of throws me off so I think when it comes to Wingstop, I prefer their bone-in wings, but even then, it was a bit chewy. My friend said it's because I probably had to heat it up, which made sense. Um, but other than that, it was amazing. So I had that, and then I did some work for Clear. And then I went to sleep at like two o'clock in the morning, because um, I watched a little Netflix when I got back to my dorm. I am proud of it, actually. Today I have, so at 9 a.m., I should probably hurry up. I'm doing too much already. 9 a.m. I have anthropology. I'm actually not in the class. I'm on a waiting list. It's four of us on the waiting list. He said show up to the first day of classes and we can go from there. Y'all, I need to get into that class. For one, like I've always wanted to take an anthropology course. Also, I still need, so I still need to complete some of my institutional requirements. So I need another cultural diversity course. I've taken a ton of classes in the Africana Studies Department. So now I have to take another CD course in a different department. So I need to take that course. None of the other CD courses would fit in with my schedule. Did I put any on my arms? 
yeah um would fit in with my schedule so it's like that would be the most ideal for me i'm also enrolled in his other anthropology course but it's a 200 level course and it's writing intensive so it involves writing two papers and pop quizzes and i just don't think it's going to be fitting for my schedule um and i i would just i would much rather take anthro 101 before going to a 200 level course if that's something that i even choose to do which i really don't think I'm going to choose to do that I feel pretty good that I'll get into the class I think I just need to of course show up on the first day and really be proactive and letting him know like yo I, I really need to get into this class I really want to get into this class I'm interested in the course and it would just be the most ideal for me in terms of my course um, planning my institutional requirements the time that's offered because I also that's another thing I also have to I'm also going to be working from like 11 to 1 Monday Wednesday Friday because I can't do it on Thursday because I have a class that I can't change I have I think bioorganic chemistry on Tuesdays and Thursdays from like 11 to 12 ish around that time so like literally I'm putting all my eggs in one basket with this class like when I say there is no other class that would work there's no other class that would work I would literally just not even take another course I would do like a half credit course or something because nothing else would make sense for me and Ruby R so I have anthro and then I have a sociology course after which I am which I am enrolled in and then I have the anthropology course that I'm actually enrolled in I don't know if I'm going to actually go I'm going to talk with the professor and see what he thinks because I feel like if I get into anthro 101 Ain't no point in going to anthro 278 because i'm going to drop the class regardless because i just cannot i need those open time slots for work like i said schedule is pretty clear so i'll probably do some planning later on i really need to repaint my nails and so i feel like if i can try and do that first day of classes when things maybe are a little bit less hectic that'd be nice oh i also will more than likely rent out a few books for my sociology course because that's required i couldn't find the pdf anywhere i found the pdf for my neuroscience class though and then for organic i'm not organic oh my god not organic bio organic i'm actually not sure what textbook we need yet but um either way go usually science books can be found online i'm not paying a hundred something dollars for a science book i just mm -mm, i will find the pdf somebody will send it to me we gonna make something happen i will check in with y'all in a bit on my necklaces i really don't trust myself to be doing all this and make it on time to class i really don't but i still got 20 minutes before i have to leave out given that i have my bike but i also don't know exactly where i'm going don't even also i don't have a mirror so um <laughs> this is what we working with okay Calf, that's where I just was getting food and y'all I don't know if you know this but I just first of all I'm really bad at multitasking and then I have to do that shit in front of people that's embarrassing and I felt like I was under pressure and like I had to like rush and stuff so I don't know if y'all can hear me but I basically got two bags of chips a water and a breakfast sandwich I have class another class in like seven minutes but apparently for the first week she they're doing like a hybrid model so I'll be attending class virtually today and then in person on wednesday and then everybody's virtual on friday i'm hoping that changes next week i think it will though um so yeah i'm just gonna quickly eat oh but i got into anthro 101 the one i was telling y'all about earlier is actually called cultural anthropology it seems like a really cool class low stakes and the professor seems great the topic seems really really interesting um I guess like one thing that really stood out to me was how he talked about with anthropologists is really exploring and understand a variety of cultures. Like it's much deeper than that, but that's kind of the gist of what I got out of it, which is something that I think I enjoy doing given that I'm so open-minded. And I don't think that there's one single way to do something and like one single belief or way. Yeah, one single belief is the ultimate and all be all belief. I got like, let's, let's see, this is bacon, cheese, and egg. I'm pretty sure that's what this is on a croissant. Croissant? The 
This is Tosh in her natural habitat, eating breakfast her sandwich. sandwich from Decaf. Breakfast sandwich. Breakfast sandwich. In her class, typically not paying attention. Yeah, it's sociology. Sorry, professor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I am actually in Bailey, which is the new house. Probably can't hear me because I'm watching YouTube. It's B O U C L. Watching Lydia Dinka, of course. I'm actually about to do my nails real quick. It's like 11 15 ish. afternoon almost three o'clock so basically as y'all can see and as y'all have already seen i polished my nails they look good uh, that was a few hours ago though i made an agenda well i made an agenda a little bit earlier for the rest of the day i'll just show, show y'all it in a second i was just lying down watching who killed sarah on netflix keep looking back because y'all know how i feel about people walking in on me <laughs> as i'm vlogging okay so let me show y'all I did okay so I tried to like break things down into more brackets this semester okay so we got self-care right here so I already did my morning routine sorry I got some notifications so we're good there I did my nails gonna grab dinner a bit later um, I got my social things to do which I sometimes I plan out stuff to do with people but not all the time uh, so I'm basically just probably going to hang out, probably do a puzzle behind me in the academics. So basically what I want to do today, so I have e everything broken down by class if y'all are interested in that. So each class as well as the days that we meet, the times that we meet, and I even have like the professor's office hours, times, as well as um, like where their office is. So we got all that and then we have work slash extracurriculars and then YouTube stuff here. So I'm vlogging today work i have a meeting later that's basically my plan or that's kind of how i organize things so far i have some readings due on wednesday for the classes i had today so for anthropology and for sociology and for anthropology he um my professor basically said how the readings aren't i guess like super long so that's good like the one that we have for wednesday it looks like it's about seven pages long but i, I feel like there's one more reading but for that class, we're gonna have like pop quizzes throughout the semester, so I kinda gotta, I gotta be prepared obviously, but as long as I kinda can state how that particular article and how that particular reading relates to anthropology and like the key sort of um, primary values, I guess, within anthro anthropology, I'll be fine. And then for sociology, I'm trying to think, cause I, I, I went to it over Zoom, and I was kind of getting distracted by a friend during class. So I don't remember exactly what the professor was saying. But I got the gist of it because I read the syllabus beforehand. So she was basically reading off the syllabus. But all I know is that we have some readings to do, class participation, stuff like that. We have exams, all that good stuff. And so I want to try and get those readings done today before my meeting later on. So I'll ha I have about two hours before I, I want to head out to get an early dinner and go to my meeting. And if I can get those two done, I'll be fine for Wednesday. And hopefully tomorrow's Tuesday. I have my science classes, so neuroscience and bioorganic chemistry y'all won't probably see me tomorrow I don't know if I'm gonna vlog or not probably won't and that way I can just kind of be ahead of the game and then I can begin work for my science classes which I know will consist of like more work and dedication so yeah that's the plan also I had to basically so if anybody was wondering if you are a pre-college student right now so if you're a high school student or if you, or even if you're a college student um, well if you're a college student you already know about 
buying books and stuff like that but anyway y'all know how expensive college books can be I usually am able to find the PDF versions for all of my science textbooks but any but also I don't even read those textbooks because they're always just difficult for me too difficult for me to understand anyway so um, that's usually not that big of a deal but for my non science classes where you kind of need the book in order to follow along in class because they don't have formal slideshow presentations so for both anthropology and sociology we had like required books not necessarily textbooks some were textbooks others were just readings um i was basically like i tried to find the pdf versions and i had no luck so i was kind of sorry about that so i basically i rented a digital copy from the bookstore my college's bookstore i rented two more digital copies from Amazon and then I bought one used from Amazon because it would have been the same price if I were to have bought it used or if I would have um, gotten like a digital copy and so it's fine I'll just buy it used and then I'll probably donate it back to the college so that so that a new student or another student students can borrow the book in the future given that I was gonna be paying the same price regardless maybe a few dollars more so that wasn't that big of a deal so have access to three of my books and then one should be coming very soon but the professors basically during like the first two weeks of classes they always have the readings uploaded to blackboard to give folks some time to purchase the books which is nice yeah, we just about to get to reading taking some notes all that good stuff let me show you all the puzzle that uh, my friends and i we started a few days ago and we haven't made any more progress i think in the last day or two but it's huge it's a 2000 piece puzzle and this is how it looks. I'm not really sure what city or country this is. It kind of looks like Santorini, but also a little bit more colorful than the Santorini pictures I've seen. But yeah, this is it. This will be our freaking summer project. Actually, a few days later, like two days later, it's Wednesday. I want to come back on here and close off this vlog. It's 8.35. Week is still going well. I'm actually, I want to head to breakfast and then go to class. So I'm in a rush. I just want to come on here and end this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I will see you on the next vlog. Bye!